A store pops up in Wayne and has some residents, especially parents, upset. A shop named CBD Kratom is right on Lancaster Avenue. It's near a number of schools within walking distance of Radnor Middle and St. Catherine of Siena School. Hi, what is news anchor Joe Holden joins us from this busy section of downtown Wayne with concerns tonight from the community. Hi, Joe. Hi, Jessica, and a lot of those folks who are concerned are expected to pack a township commissioner's meeting set to begin at 6.30 at the township building. The common unison, the chorus of concerns we've heard out here today is that they don't think this is the right location for this type of business. In what was an old closed down Starbucks, there's new life in this prime location along Lancaster Avenue in the heart of Wayne. Locals say they thought it might be a burger or shake place since the windows had been covered up. But the unveiling sometime earlier this month revealed the CBD Kratom Cannabis Dispensary. Social media ignited with questions. How did this business just open? To put something, a facility like this, so close to a school, it, is, it, also cheapens, it, it also cheapens Wayne. Bradner Township says they immediately ordered the business to close on grounds proper permits and occupancy certificates were missing. The township attorney tells me both sides are working on a resolution. But some tell CBS3 the real controversy is the dispensing of Kratom. A quick Google search shows the pain reliever and stimulant is widely available in the city and suburbs. You have to be 18 to purchase. John Leciardello says he's outraged. The substance that comes from a tree is available so close to schools within walking distance. It is the job of our politicians to protect our kids and to protect our community. Kratom has been controversial. It's already banned in some states. The U.S. government came close to banning it, with the FDA even attempting to classify it a Schedule I controlled substance. Substance. Advocates say it's an important tool for treating chronic pain and the side effects of addiction. Some tell me, though, they believe the location of the store to be entirely wrong. But what I expect is that our leaders here in this township and in Pennsylvania should take decisive and quick action to make this illegal everywhere in the state and, frankly, everywhere in the country. Well, there may not be much the township can do. Their solicitor told me this is clearly a code enforcement issue, and they are working through that. Now, the company did release a lengthy response about those permits and uh, some of the missing information. They do acknowledge there was an oversight. They also say they're looking forward to opening and becoming part of the community. We've included that full statement on our website, cbsphilly.com. For now, we're live in Wayne, Radnor Township. Joe Holden, CBS3 Eyewitness News. Joe, thank you for that.